What's up guys? So this video is kind of going to be an update to an older video I did on how to install the Android operating system onto your iPhone. Now in the original video we needed to connect up the iPhone to your computer itself to install Android, but in this new update we can do it all right from the iPhone itself. So first off what you want to do is make sure that you have an iPhone 2G or iPhone 3G. Uh, nothing else is supported right now, but hopefully eventually in future updates uh, more devices will be supported. Um, you know, want to make sure that you're running firmware 3.1.2, 3.1.3, 4.0 or 4.1. Um, really any firmware will work, uh, just not the new 4.2 firmware. Next you want to make sure that your iPhone is jailbroken with Cydia. If you don't know how to do that, check out my channel. Tons of videos on how to jailbreak every firmware. So you're going to want to start up Cydia and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a source so go to manage sources and you want to hit edit and then add and the source you're going to want I already have on my iPhone it is repo.neonkoala.co.uk um, we'll put that down in the uh, underbar so that you can see that a little bit better but once you have that source added you're going to want to go ahead and search for the package that we need to install and the package is called boot lace b o o sorry can't type to save my life so uh, this may take about 10 minutes here boot lace and uh, just search for that and scroll down here should look something like this and uh, just go ahead and install it. All right, and once it's installed, you can go ahead and return to Cydia and uh, back to the home screen. And you should see a new icon on your home screen, bootlay. Should look something like this. Go ahead and open it up. It will check the compatibility, make sure you are on the correct iPhone with the correct firmware. It's going to download a couple things. Um, just be patient, leave it alone. Um, and that will be done in just a second. Alright, and once it is downloaded the kernel and patched the kernel, you're going to have to reboot your device, so just go ahead and do that right now. Alright, and once you have rebooted your phone, go ahead and go back into Bootlace. It should give you this lovely welcome message. Just go ahead and click OK. You want to make sure that you are connected to the internet, whether it be Wi-Fi um, or 3G if you're running the iPhone 3G. Just make sure you have a pretty good internet connection. Um, and once you've opened Bootlace, you should come to a screen like this. It's got a whole bunch of information. You can follow the developers if you want. Um, and it just has some features and some compatibility information, um, frequently asked questions, all that good stuff. Um, so right now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and tap the open iBoot tab and uh, basically what we need to do is we need to install this package and what this allows us to do is it allows us to uh, basically open up more than one operating system on the home or rather the boot up screen so we can boot up whether we want iOS or Android. So just go ahead and click the big green install button. I'm going to give you this little warning message. Um, basically what this says is don't mess with anything while it's installing. Um, and this process is going to take a while so if you're low on battery uh, make sure you connect up to your computer or whatever you use to charge it and uh, make sure that your phone doesn't turn off and it doesn't lock. Um, just leave it on and let it install and uh, should be done in just a few minutes. All right, and once Open iBoot is installed, you're gonna to want to go over to the iDroid tab, and uh, it should say that you don't have any Android operating system installed. So we're gonna to want to do that right now. Just click the big blue install button. Again, it is highly recommended that you connect up to some sort of charging supply so that your iPhone doesn't turn off or sleep, and go into lock mode, whatever wants to do. Just want to make sure that your phone stays on, stays awake, and uh, don't mess with anything while it downloads. 
And again, it should be done in just a few minutes. All right, and once your Android OS has installed, should come to a page that looks like this, giving you some iDroid version information, some Android information, and the option to upgrade to a later version if it's available, or to remove and reinstall if you had any problems. So the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to go into Quick Boot, and from Quick Boot, you have the option to open up Android um, right from the Bootlace application itself. You can also completely turn off your iPhone and when you turn it back on you're going to have the option to choose between the iPhone operating system or the Android operating system. But for right now I'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like from Quick Boot. So all you have to do is tap on Android. It'll give you a little warning saying this will reboot your device into Android. Are you sure? Just go ahead and tap yes and it will turn off and turn back on again and you'll see a whole bunch of scrolling text come down on the screen um, that means it's working just leave it alone let it turn back on um, and hopefully you should be running Android OS after it's all done so there you go if you have any questions or if anything went wrong and you're not sure what happened Feel free to post a comment down below or send me a message. I'll do my best to help you out. Um, this is a pretty good um, Android operating system kind of copy. It's not the whole Android operating system, obviously, um, but it is about as much as you can put on the iPhone. You have all the access to applications. Um, you can connect to your Wi-Fi, use the Android browser, and all that fun stuff. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, again, if you have any questions or had any issues with this, feel free to post a comment down below. Um, let me know if it worked, and uh, let me know if you guys like Android OS or not. Um, I know you probably won't be using this Android OS as your primary operating system, obviously. Um, but do let me know if you like Android at all um, compared to the iPhone OS. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next video.